everybody, Seth and Nerva here. We just want to say hello and to encourage you in and during these times to cultivate an atmosphere and a heart of worship. I think it's important to help us to stand strong, to persevere, to guard your peace, and to remind you that the Lord's presence is always near. Just want to share this one scripture with you. It's Colossians 3.16. It says, let the word of Christ dwell richly among you in all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another through psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing to God with gratitude in your heart. Yeah, you know, it, it uh, surprised me to recently learn that singing is actually the second most commanded spiritual discipline, only behind prayer in huh, the scripture. Okay. And, um, and you know, when you hear that word, the word spiritual discipline, don't think about it, it's just drudging it out. It's really, it's just a way we connect with God. It's, it's different activities we engage in that interface us and God. Somebody once said it's like hoisting your sail to catch the wind of the spirit that's blowing. And so, you know, God gives us these different things, prayer, study, um, you know, kind of withdrawing from people, fasting, these types of things for us to connect with him. And I was surprised that singing was second on that list. And so, you know, during this time, don't neglect, let's not neglect that. You know, it can kind of feel awkward, you know, just walk around singing like you're in an Italian opera, but it's actually good. You can, <laughs> you can throw on music in the background, yeah. but you can also sit down with your, with your family, read a scripture and sing a song together. You know, how great is our guy just leading each other. And that's what Paul was saying there to encourage each other, exhort each other with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. One of the ways that we're going to try to help with that is we put up a couple Spotify playlists, Apple playlists, whatever you use on your digital, um, to give you just a list of songs that we do at New Life, as well as the songs we're going to, we have a separate one that we're going to do for this weekend. So you can begin to prepare your hearts for the songs we're going to sing together. And so we would just encourage you, um, sing, sing, sing unto the Lord, you know, um, he inhabits the praise of his people and the lyrics that, you know, music so powerful. It actually forms us as we just, as we listen to it, as we engage in it, it's, it's changing us sometimes sure. without us even know it. So I just want to encourage you guys to not neglect that awesome gift of that spiritual discipline of singing today. God bless.